Frankie here. Today I'm here with Willie from France and we're here to talk about experience and knowledge on braking. Willie, thank you so much for joining me today. It's an honor to help share your story. Welcome to Detroit. Yes, thank you so much. Happy to be here. Born in 95, braking since 2008. Can we start by talking a little bit about how you got started? Not just in terms of your dance career, but can you talk a little bit about how you grew yeah. up too, you know, where you came from? Yeah, yeah, born in France. All my family came in France because of the war, you know, in Cambodia. We are a lot in my family where we are like 90, my cousin and everything. Before I, I was playing football and then it was difficult to choose when I, I meet break, break dance and then I get injured here and on the knee so I decide to, to dance so how I, I saw the first time dancing it was uh, some friend they did a show wow I want to do that because it's dancing and also like you can make some flips yeah you are free so it was interesting breaking in France are there a lot of young kids at the time there were a lot of young kids doing it now when I started uh, I was, in my city, I was the, the youngest. It was good also to learn like that, because I, I had no limits. Sometimes you hear about trickers, they get injured a lot yeah. with their knees and stuff. Do you feel like your body gives you any challenges when you practice like, uh, the air stuff? No, no, I mean for the footwork, yes, because I cannot sit on my right knee, you know. So for the flip, it's, yeah, I have no problem, because it's all the legs. Because of this injury, I found my, my style, my, my way of moving because uh, I start poor move because of this. You know, I had like, uh, I don't know how we say, atel we say in France. You know, when you get injured and you, you, they put something to stay straight. So I start poor move like this and then naturally make the style. <laughs> That's really interesting that you talk about how you found your style through getting hurt, mm. you know? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Based on what your body can do, that's your style. You have, you have to figure it out. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Can we talk a little bit about the people you grew up with when you were dancing and then Tekken? How did, yeah. how did we get to that point? This crew, they changed my mind, even my vision of dancing. Because when I, uh, I started breakdance, I just wanted to do poor move, flips, like no music and everything. So. And Tekken crew, they, they were like really into dance, style, musicality. They said to me that sometimes I think too much. I say, you always try to do like difficult movement, but do simple. And then I start to do like, uh, imagine like Naichi chair. Before I wanted to do Naichi chair, boom, go back to air flare. And then uh, they said, just do Naichi chair on the beat. And then you will see. And then I start like this to make like some really small, uh, small blow-ups on the beat. And then, yeah, they really changed my vision. And we were young, like 16. So at that time, we start to travel already with the battle. And yeah, no, it was the perfect life. It's not always about doing the hardest moves, but like making it look fresh. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Do you feel like a lot of people you grew up seeing, they have that mentality, they just want to do the hardest stuff? Like in France? Yeah. Yes, exactly. In France, yeah. Yes. Where do you think that comes from? Why is there so much interest in just blowing it up, just like the biggest moves? In France? Yeah, yeah I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But especially in Lyon, the, the city where I where I saw, where Tekken is from, they do a lot of crazy moves, like air chair. They always want to continue. You know Billy Boy, B Boy Billy Boy, Brahim, Lilu, Pokemon Crew. They were the first to to make some crazy moves. Also in Grenoble, Silent Tricks. I don't know if you know B Boy yes. Ashmi, yes. Tim. You know Yamin, Nono. They were already next level. The creativity, you know, in the, the technical movement and direction in the air, they were already like really far you know we grow like this we grow like this but it missed something you know for me i mean when i start because i wanted to do a big move but i miss the the groove just to be on the the music the melody that's why i try to mix and then it's happened like this you guys are so close to other countries yeah. do you guys look at other neighboring countries and you kind of look at their style and you kind of pick things up or does france kind of just they just do their own thing they will get inspired from the from the other country around because look like us tall kids they are not far rugged are not far i mean all the big crew are not far so yeah we get inspired already when we meet in the battle sometimes we, we dance against each other it's uh, already big inspiration and it's good that we are all uh, 
in Europe. When you started breaking, you're talking about you saw your friend at a show. Um, yeah. You know, when you were super young. Did you know that dance was going to be your career at that point? Or you just <laughs> did it just because it was... No, no, no. I, no. I didn't expect that because, yeah. It was too far. I was just like the passion. I just wanted to, yeah, to enjoy. Enjoy life, to, even at school. I, I stopped really early in school when I was, uh, yeah, I don't know, maybe 15. I stopped really early, so... Just to dance? Yeah, just dancing. I just wanted to dance. Yeah. <laughs> Even in, at the school, I was writing the, some sets, you know, to, yeah, imagination. Is it pretty hard in France to make a living from breaking, or do you guys get more, do you feel like you get more support? We have support, we can do a lot of class. A lot of people ask for a class, for breaking, or like hip-hop classes. You can live easy. Is this like in schools? There is like now some project in this, with the school because of the, you know, the Olympic or these things, but uh, you can make your own school or work for the other school in school you know and you have a lot of shows also they ask a lot for the show in France is there a lot of do you feel like appreciation from people that don't dance they appreciate breaking yeah yes yes when they see like breaking always when even w when I go to the school and I make like some some round like a show you can see straight the smile it's I don't know it's it's magic <laughs> yeah for me break dance is breaking is really magic when you dance really with the heart, it can change everything. From when you started dancing, if you think about, and we'll get to see some of the footage from you know mm. early on, but if you think about how France was in terms of breaking when you started versus now, yeah, where do you feel like breaking is going? Are you excited to see where the future of French b-boys goes? Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's changed a lot. There is a really good level in France, like a Red Bull BC1 in France, the qualification. It's difficult now. <laughs> it's not like before. I mean, before was was also strong, but the people are more motivated and they really want. They really want it now. <laughs> this battle. I remember like it was yesterday. This battle. <laughs> <laughs> so what I remember, it was yeah, it was against Melting Force, the the trio like Franklin, Tutus, and and Soso. They were the strongest in France, and always we battled against them, and we lost. Always we lost because it was not far from Lyon, so all the hype was there already. So yeah, I just go and I wanted to to destroy everything, you know. It was just the yeah, the goal was this. That's it. I remember I said, hey, this battle we win. For me, we, we won this battle. And then we lost. And then. So, <laughs> really good memories. So, this was 2012. Yeah. And you had been breaking for four years. Is, does that sound right? Yeah, 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 exactly. How long did it take you to get each of those moves that you did in this round? Your flare, your air flare, your chair, your elbow air flare? Uh, How long did it take? It, it's. I don't know, it was naturally. I mean, uh, not, not this, not the combo. But I start already with the like chair, elbow, chair, and then chair, hand, chair, elbow, chair, and all this combo. I don't know. I, I, I did it like really naturally. It was naturally in my body. You know, I was. I didn't think too much to, to make this this move, but like I said, it was naturally. And then I start to do like power move. I, I did a lot of air flare. My dream was to make air flare. You know, flare was okay already. When I started, flare was easy for me. And then uh, I had one time I was like uh, block a little bit because I, I did only poor move. And then uh, one friend from, from Dijon, he showed me flare, air chair and elbow. And then I start with this move and this move, this lock all the move. And then from, from there I start to, yeah, to, to discover uh, all the direction and yeah, I don't know, it was natural. 
You're it's, saying flare to chair to elbow? Yes, exactly. Like chair, elbow. Yeah. Elbow, flare, and then, yeah. But uh, hard work. I was practicing, oh yeah, I practice a lot. Every day, a lot, a lot. I have muscle pain. And I remember the, the day after, I still practice. Also, head spin when I practice since like a really long time in the night, uh, I had blood in the nose because I practiced too much head spin. Yeah, I don't, it was really, I love it so much before. It was just patient, you know. You don't see the, the hard, uh, hard time. Yeah. <laughs> what city is Melting Force from? It's Saint Etienne. Is that close to? Yeah, really close to my city, like 40 minutes by car. Yeah, they were really big around this time. Even, I mean, everyone knew who they were, even around the world. Mm. Yeah, around that time. Mm. But it's funny because at this time, yeah, I don't realize that people watch the video from US, you know, in France. Yeah, it's funny. <laughs> it's funny. We're gonna move on here. Yeah. Hip Obsession Ooh, 2014. This one. It's a great exchange. Hip Obsession, for me, the was the dream. When I was kids, I was watching all the battle from Hip Obsession. You know, the crew was screw. And then they invite me. I say, whoa, so happy, you know. Did you have to do a prelim? No. No prelim. They, they invite me straight. I mean, it was the time where I start to make an international battle. Because after this, I get invited for Indisputed. But after Hip Obsession, I broke my feet. Because you know what? At this time, when I came to hip position in uh, Undisputed, the people start to know me. And then I start to think I'm a superstar. <laughs> okay. Exactly, you know? No, really. Yeah. I was thinking that, oh shit, now I'm a superstar. You know? Did you feel nervous, like you had pressure? Not pressure, but... Uh, not, not the pressure, but I was too proud. Oh, okay. And it was not good. And then I get, I broke my foot. And then uh, it was perfect. <laughs> it was sad, you know? For one year and a half, I stopped. I had to, you know, recovery, but this time was really, really, really good for me inside, you know, to, okay, life is simple, I have to stay simple. I grew simple, my life come from Cambodia, you know, I mean, my family from Cambodia. I have to stay like uh, who I am, you know, from since, since I'm kids. And then uh, this injury changed totally my dance after. It's magic, it's natural. That's, that's I, can, I cannot explain. <laughs> you're changing your mentality, and yeah. of course it'll change your dance too. Exactly, yeah, yeah. I'm going to the battle just to, to share my art. It was not uh, because of just winning, just sharing. Short round. I remember that, uh, yeah, this battle I just wanted to I have to hit, <laughs> I have to, to go, go through, you know. It was just the goal and yeah, I felt good in this battle. I felt really good. I've watched your entire, not just this round, but the entire battle oh, at yeah. Hip Obsession. And you didn't look tired at all. I think maybe, uh, not, not so tired, but rep I, I repeat. Sure. I repeat a lot at the final against Charito. That's why I lost, you know. But uh, it was my first, like, one versus one international, so it was a really good experience. It's awesome that you get to have an exchange with someone like Yoshi. I mean, yeah. he's such an inspiration in terms of how he combines the different movements in the air to, mm -hmm. uh, down to the floor. Yeah, I was a big fan of Yoshi. Yoshi Blue. Oh, this one. We were talking a little bit about how your style might have changed a little bit since yeah. your injury, so. What are some of the things you started to practice differently? My training was different because before I was more like to make a block, you know, like flare, attack, flare. And at that time, I was like uh, just enjoying. Listen to music, dance, and then go make a long board. <laughs> you know, I was not thinking because I do a lot of sports, you know, also uh, behind dancing. And yeah, well, it was just lifestyle. And this, this year was gold because I came in flying steps one year before and then I win the France. 
And then the next year after, I, I went to Amsterdam for the, the World Final. They invited me for the World Final. So yeah, it was really good time. But uh, yeah, it was just lifestyle. Didn't think so much. Just, just go dance, show what you do, and yeah, enjoy. And my wife is here. <laughs> yeah, it was good round. <laughs> I remember that normally I, I, I don't wanted to do uh, the flips. I wanted to keep it for the round after. But uh, because he, he stayed on the, you remember? You see in the, in the, in the video, he was staying on the, on this, in, the, in the center and he didn't want that I, I go. So I say, okay, what I do? What I go? And then I went and say, okay, now we do the flip. And I've, I, yeah, <laughs> I put full power, uh, I remember, in the flip. And then, yeah, no, it was good, it was good. Sometimes you have a plan going into your battle, but, like, you have to kind of think on the spot. Like, yeah, exactly, yeah. If someone does something like that, or if they do a certain move, and you're like, I know exactly how to respond. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was exactly like this, at this time. I say, okay, and he was, you know, he was watching me like this, like, uh, <laughs> and I say, hey, what you want? <laughs> you know, <laughs> what you want? But I was injured this battle. You were still hurt. And an, another injury that was like, uh, I did, you know, on talks. I don't know how to say on talks, but, but it, it's funny because when I'm injured, I, I dance better. I don't know in my mind uh, because I take care. Maybe I feel more my, my step, more the, you know, for me already, always when I, I do, uh, I'm injured, I dance good. <laughs> it's strange, but. You would think that the more healthy you are, but no, that's actually true. Just in general, you're just more thoughtful. Right? Yeah, 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 exactly. If you're healthy, you just muscle memory. Mm -hmm. It's just like you're not mm -hmm. thinking, you just Yeah, 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 memory. exactly. Yeah, and when you're injured, it's like you have nothing, but with nothing, you can do everything. I feel it's this. And it's hard to, to do the same when you, you have no injury. <laughs> you know, sometimes we are. Oh, I have everything, so, you know. You chose some good value, bro. <laughs> so, before we play this, tell us what you remember about B-Boy Classic. Well, B-Boy Classic. I was not practicing a lot. I was doing longboard a lot. And then they invite me for the great uh, eight, you know. So they choose eight people and then they mix. And then I say, okay, I will go to this battle, but I don't know what, what will happen, you know. And then it happened what it happened, you know. <laughs> It was good, I was in. When the battle starts, I was in. I remember Victor was there, so I said, yeah, I hope we will, we will be together. <laughs> so I, went, I was with Skyship and really good connection. What you were saying before just now about just enjoying the moment and just being free, I think you can really see that from this, mm. from this battle. Like, mm. You look like you were having so much fun. This battle was so intense, but still, you. You had a smile on your face. Mm. You were just there. Ha you were just happy to be mm. there. Because sometimes, it's, what I see even in France, the mentality sometimes is too serious. So it's nothing. Everybody was really concentrated because it's a big battle and everything. But uh, yeah, I was like you said, I was chill. This I, I don't remember. I don't know how I did this. Do <laughs> you know this move? This is crazy. 
Oh, good round, Justina. Really. <laughs> Two zero. I'm ready now, I get fire now. Sketch. This was too much, really. We lost 2 0, and I say if we lost one round, it's finished for us. And I remember when Sky Chef win the point, I say, oh, I have to, to go again. And I say, okay, I will just go, just go through. And he changed the music with the guitar. <laughs> and then I was watching the point. You know, I was watching the point. I said, okay, let's go. And then I just, you know, I just throw everything that I have. And then Sky Chief again, he came back with the crazy run at the end. Yeah, no, it was, it was really the big fight, this battle. And uh, it was warm, I remember. And we were like, uh, you know, like a fighter. <laughs> no, it was, yeah. This battle yeah, was also really, really, really good. One of the best. Oh! A little more recent. <gasps> Not long time. Yeah, it was different. Not too much blow-ups, more like playing. Yeah, I mean, now is more like what I search in my dance, because uh, to make like big move, I, I love to make big move. But uh, it's sometimes I'm tired, <laughs> you know, I'm tired. So this way of uh, making big move, but to stay like fluid. One thing I've noticed too, you know, through all the footage we watch, you don't ever look like you're ever really forcing it. You know, some people you can tell they're they're not breathing or they get really tense when they try to hit the freezes and mm -hmm. stuff. But you look really relaxed. You know, yeah, do you yeah. Have any advice for that? I don't know because <laughs> always, sometimes in France, I, I lose battle because they say I'm too relaxed and I don't understand. You know, I say it's my style, it's like this. You know, from outside I'm relaxed, but inside I'm not relaxed. <laughs> Maybe take time. Also, I practice like really slowly, and I play a lot to, to find the reflex when I when I crash, you know. And then it's yeah, I find some new ways and some new reflex, and my body moves differently. So I I discover ways there. Because slow is where you develop control. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And you you get the the right position also, you know, because sometimes we we rush, we rush it, and it's it's not clean. And when you are slow, and then it's, yeah, for me, it's, I, I like this, the, to practice slow. It's helped me a lot to even to see where I am, you know. Because sometimes when I'm in the rush, when I have to do big move, I'm lost. I'm here, okay, here. So when you are slow, you have time. And uh, better to be slow and then go, <laughs> you know. For me, I mean, personally, you know, I, uh, I think like this. Better to be, to start slow and then go straight. Can we talk a little bit about some of your crewmates? Do you want to give a shout out to any of your crewmates that have yeah. been with you through this journey? Timo and Dimi, the two brothers, they are two brothers. And uh, when I started with Tekken, I always have, was with them. 
at them home, you know. I was sleeping there sometimes for two months, like flying everywhere in Europe, for battle, in France, together. So yeah, really thanks, thanks to them. You know, it's built my, uh, my dance and also my personality. They're really different, different body, different style, and we have the same like vision at that time. Same vision, and that's why we we get the passion and we we went like uh, we were in the bubble, <laughs> we were in a bubble, you know. We just wanted to to dance to to enjoy because we did. Uh, I started music because of them also. You know, we play music together, we did skateboarding together, fine, everything we did together, and we uh, we three were really uh, like together and in our world, <laughs> on world, you know. Yeah. And it's good to have like a crew like this. Pat Pat, did he join later? When he was kids, he was in Lyon, but he was practicing a lot, you know. We have a place in Lyon, it's called Opera. It's a really famous place in the, in the center, it's outside, so everybody can, can go there and practice. So now they close it, you know. But before, yeah, I meet him there and then Later, he went to Bat Trip Crew, and then he came to Tekken also. We know him since he's really young, so he's like uh, the little brother. In Lyon, we are really together. The b-boy scene is, we know each other, and there is a lot of events. Maybe you just answered the question, but I was going to ask, do you feel like dancers in France or in Lyon have a very strong sense of being with your crew? In France, it was, was like this before. Tekken? Before we didn't mix with the, any crew. The rule was we are together and we stay together. Yeah, it was the crew, you know. We are one crew. And then, yeah, life changed and we yeah, started to, to work with flying steps. Now it's different, but before yeah, we were like really crew, crew, crew. Even in Lyon, it was the same. Pokemon. There have been so many one on ones in the last decade. Ah, yeah. And I think people maybe are a little tired of it. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's like, so. Last two years, a lot of crew battles. Like. Yeah, yeah, but uh, in Europe it's the same. Too much one versus one, and it's killed the the crew vibes. It's true. Yeah, me too. I feel this. And me too. I was started to make one versus one. <laughs> That's why we did this battle, you know, five versus five. Yeah, it's really the best time for me to dance with crew, because it's different mentality. One versus one is really hard for me. Really, you have to be ready, <laughs> you know. Crew as crew, you, you have to be ready, but you, you can really uh, enjoy and some move, some energy, you know. So, yeah, you are more free, I think. You have some younger people that watch, you know, mm. this channel and watch these interviews. Can you talk about what are some of the challenges, but also what is rewarding about, you know, breaking full-time, training full-time, mm. getting to perform? Sacrifice, you say? Yeah, sacrifice because you have to, to choose. Me, it was natural, like I said. I choose dancing because I, I love dancing. So naturally, if I have to choose between doing this or dance, I, I want to dance. I'm daddy, so, so now I can really see the sacrifice. The hardest thing is sacrifice, practice, and even sometimes when it's a difficult time, keep your goal. Keep uh, the, the reason why you dance, to talk, because it's a conversation when you dance. Because sometimes we, are, we lost motivation. We want to change, we want to be better, but uh, just be patient. Do you have much challenge with injuries nowadays? Yeah, I take care better. But when I have injury, I, I rest. Before I, I was forcing, you know. But now when I, I get an injury, when I have injury, I, I rest, I take care. I do like another sport, you know, to, to stay in shape. Yes, I take care more now. Keep the passion, just love what you do. Be confident and practice a lot. Yeah, if you practice a lot, you will be, you will get the confidence. Always enjoy, enjoy, and even if it's hard, it's hard, enjoy. And like, yeah, because you talk about my family, I was a lot with my family because like uh, we are a lot of cousins, you know, like in IT, in my city. Every day I was with my family. And when I start to travel, it was hard for me, <laughs> you know, because uh, I was there, I was there, and I didn't see them so much. Yeah, I think this is the sacrifice, you know. But at the end, today they are so happy. I'm the leader one, you know. 
I'm the youngest in my family. You're the youngest. Yes. Yeah. And uh, I choose this this way. I'm I'm happy. I'm so happy. Willie, thank you so much for your time today. Yeah. Um, I know you just have a short visit, you know, when mm. you're here in Detroit, but enjoy yeah. Detroit, enjoy the States while you're here, and good luck with everything in yes. the future. Thank you, Frankie. All the best for you too, bro. Thank you, bro. And we're out of here. Peace. Bye.